Hi everyone and welcome back to Happiness Sparkles. I ordered a fragrance a couple of days ago. Uh, I got an incredible deal on it. Uh, it's blind buy and it just arrived this morning. So I thought I'll get on here right away, do an unboxing and uh, test it out for you guys. So I've taken everything out of the box. Uh, it is a tester. So I didn't know if it would come with all the fanciness on it, with the, with the lid and everything. And this sells for well over a hundred dollars and even more. Um, so I peeked inside, I haven't opened it, uh, but I did peek inside and I was shocked really shocked and I will list the price that I paid for it I think it was 60 something dollars um, and it was a spontaneous buy I have seen other people do reviews on it and it gets good reviews some people say it's a little underwhelming and it's not as uh, good as it's hyped up to be but for that price I couldn't resist and look how it came look at that it's got everything on it I can't see any difference to this one to the one that was not the tester bottle and the name of this fragrance is called Soleil Lalique this is the Eau de Parfum and it is I'm gonna read you the main I'm not gonna read anything I'm going to test it out first it's freezing cold um, it's all taped together here with a little with a little band. Let's take that off. See to hold the little chain on. Ah, okay, here we go. And this is the little necklace or bracelet or whatever it is it comes with. Look at that. Take this off it. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, look at how gorgeous the bottle is. Now, Soleil Lalique, and I'm just reading this off my tablet, um, is actually, that's my dryer stopping. It's all happening in my house today, actually, because my husband is downstairs renovating a room in the basement. I'm upstairs knitting hats for last minute orders and the mailman arrived with this box and I didn't know what it was because I literally ordered it less than 48 hours ago. Um, so this is a crystal company, um, which I thought was interesting. Um, this was launched last year, 2019. Um, and let's just open her up and have a look. Look at this bottle. It is heavy. It is very heavy. This lid is heavy. It is not plastic. It's really heavy. It's got the Soleil right written here. Um, it's not written anywhere else on the bottle, just on the bottom. And it's uh, La Lique. Parfum, Eau de Parfum, and it's made in France. And I'm excited to smell this, really excited. Um, I do have fragrance on here today, but I'm gonna spray it right on my hand. I'm excited. Oh, yes, it's very nice. Sort of a, a peppery, very fizzy in your nose. <coughs> kind of catches me in the throat. It's um, top notes. It smells like oranges. It smells like 
citrusy, sour kind of orange right off the top. It smells peppery to me. Let's read the notes on this one. Um, okay, so it is a floral, fruity gourmand fragrance for women. I'm not getting any gourmand yet, but it's early days. Um, a blast of mandarin orange. It's a mandarin orange. Smells really fresh um, and then bitter almond. Yeah, I smell the almond. Cardamom, that's what I'm smelling. That's the, that's the peppery smell I'm smelling. Cardamom. I don't think I've ever smelled cardamom in, in a fragrance before. Uh, the middle notes are pear, candied almond, almond, jasmine, caramel, milk, and coffee. Base notes are praline, sandalwood, and white musk. I can smell the cardamom. Excuse me, excuse me ladies, I just kind of jumped on here, didn't do anything with my hair because I wanted to experience this fragrance with you guys first, right off the bat. It's really pleasant, it is very pleasant. I mean, for the price. Six, I, I do believe I paid 64 or $68 or something like that for it. And that's a big bottle. What happened was actually <laughs> when, oh, it says right on it here, tester. Okay, I'm just seeing that now. It says it right there, tester. And it's engraved into the glass. But I expected it to be a tester um, with the chain missing and the lid and I thought you know so it would have basically looked like this this is what I expected it to look like that's what I expected so I'm really pleasantly surprised that although it does say and it is engraved right into the glass that does say tester that um, it did come with all the bells and whistles which is gorgeous so uh, yeah let's read a little bit more about it as I say, this is just very casual, very off the cuff video. Um, and we'll smell it. We'll just relax and we'll smell it. We'll smell it together. We'll decide if we love it, we like it, or it's going to take a little bit of time to grow on us. Abby has it and she's decluttering it. And if she had known that, she, that I was buying it, we kind of, she did a declutter video the other day and I had already gone on and ordered it. And she said, if she had known I was ordering it, she would have sent me hers. But anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It was really kind of her to think of me. Ugh. What else does it say about this company? Um, so well, is developed by perfumers Alexandra Monet, Barbara Zobelin, and Bon Est Lapuza. <laughs> I butchered those names. Um, as a gourmand composition, so they all created it as a gourmand. This is not a gourmand, just saying. Not yet. It's com, it's com, I can nearly read. It's components include citruses, definitely lots of citrus in there. Spices, almonds, sweet notes, such as caramel, pralines, and coffee, jasmine, woods, and musk. Um, there's a strong cardamom in here. I can really smell it. And I know what cardamom smells like, and it is like a peppery, like a peppery smell. A little slight hint of almond. 
but if I hadn't known that it was in there, I probably wouldn't have picked it out, to be totally honest. It's a nice fruity floral fragrance. I mean, it really is, but it's, um, it's gonna take a little bit of me wearing it for a while. And I'm just so happy to have the bottle. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. And I really wasn't going to buy it. You know, the reason I went on, and it came from um, Canadian site, I believe, Perfume, Perfume Canada or something. And the only reason I went on the site was because I got a percentage off. I think I got 25% off. And then they had like a special for Christmas. And I wanted to get a backup of my fancy because I'm right down to here with my fancy. So, um, yeah, now I have my backup. I'm good. I have a few more blind buys coming in. I said I wasn't going to do that, but I did. Uh, I also have friend mail coming. It's on the slow boat from Florida. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's taking a little bit of a while to come in, but I'm looking forward to that. And I ordered another backup of my terracotta um, by Guerlain. And I'm almost halfway down that bottle and it's only about three months old. It is a eau de toilette, but it does not last. It lasts maybe two hours, stays very close to the skin. So I thought, you know, I just keep spraying it on all day long. So I need another bottle of that. And it is a limited edition, but I did get a good deal on it. So, so, so there's always that, right? Okay, so we are actually about 10 minutes into the video um, and I'll be chopping up some bits of it, editing it, a lot of it out. Um, and it's, it's drying down really nice, but it smells like something else I have. Honestly, it's, it's not mind-blowing at all. It's not gourmand at all. It's supposed to be jasmine in it. I'm not getting any jasmine as of yet. It's quite musky. It's drying down. So we've, we've reached the base notes. And I kind of lost a lot of what they say is in it. I've lost that along the way. It's kind of gone from mandarin orange with that blast of cardamom peppery smell um, to a white musk. It could develop throughout the day. It could change throughout the day. Not sure on longevity of it at this point. Uh, but it's, um, it's got great notes in it. They're just not very strong. Like, I mean, pear in a perfume is divine. Candied almond, jasmine, caramel, milk, coffee, praline, sandalwood, I'm getting more musk than sandalwood. It's quite musky, which I'm not excited about. So, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. The bottle's nice though. <laughs> I just can't believe it arrived this quickly. Like literally, I ordered it the day yesterday or the day before yesterday and it arrived this morning. And the guy came rushing up onto my doorstep, set it on my doorstep and rushed away again, like I was gonna go out and eat him or something, you know? That's what they do. That's like they rush up and leave it and then they rush away again. So um, yeah, anywho, I um, hope you guys all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. We have a week to go until Christmas. Yesterday was my birthday and it was fabulous. It's very quiet. It was just the three of us. It was my hubby, myself, and Nora. And hubby went out and we got Swiss Chalet, which is a Canadian chicken rotisserie uh, restaurant. And he got the festive uh, Swiss Chalet dinner, 
It comes with stuffing and, and chicken and chips and all the rest of it. And then he got a cake. And so we blew out the candles on the cake. And I posted that on my Instagram. So go check that out. And uh, yeah, all in all, it was a lovely day. And uh, yeah, another year. And I'm 67. 67. Yeah. And I'm starting to show it. <laughs> I'm going to need a facelift soon. <laughs> but anyhow, my skin is still in good shape, but it's starting to sag a bit. Yeah, but that's okay. That's all right, whatever. Um, I love you all to bits, and uh, we keep it real here, here uh, on my channel. We just keep it real. And I'll see you all in my next video. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Mwah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nana. Happy birthday to you. Nora, too. Nora, too. Yay! 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 Beautiful cake! <laughs> it looks really good.